Now with Dr. Jen, and there's a new study about childhood risk factors for heart disease and stroke. Tell us about that. So this was an interesting study um, using some mathematical models published in the journal JAMA Network Open, and they looked at various risk, risk factors among children and adolescents, things like body mass index, BMI, weight, cholesterol levels, whether or not they smoked as teenagers, and then correlated that to risk factors of cardiovascular disease later in life, things like stroke, heart attack, not really a surprise, right? Mm -hmm. That when you see even in younger teenagers, children, obesity, overweight, smoking, high cholesterol, part of which can be behavioral, part of which can be genetic, that you're gonna really tip the scales um, and stack the deck for future heart disease and stroke. And, and I think as the daughter of a cardiologist, you know, we have to remember this is the number one killer of men and women in this country and worldwide. And now there is so much compelling data that the risk factors can really start as early as childhood. So as a family, how can we be more proactive? Well, look, it, it's easier said than done, right? When, when you're a parent of an overweight or obese child, uh, there are so many other factors that make that hard to deal with because you're dealing with someone whose self-esteem, you know, is also fragile, more fragile and developing. But I think we all have to get on board with the fact that you can control the controllables, things like how you eat, how you move, smoking or not smoking, and then know your family's history is really important about heart disease um, and trying to be proactive, uh, whether that's with lifestyle, behavior, or medication if necessary. Create that culture yeah. and that family and remember, understanding. It's our number one risk factor. So important. Yeah. All right, Doc, thank you.